Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and welcome back to another DVD review. So, today we have a trilogy of full series sets of old Nickelodeon shows. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, Shout Factory handles all of the distribution and making of these DVDs um, for Nickelodeon. Really, only Nickelodeon shows that are, like, currently relevant get, like, big, you know, heavily produced, really nice-looking DVD and Blu-ray sets, like Korra, Avatar, Spongebob. Those get those get fine ones. Everything else gets Shout Factory. Or, like, Kablam gets nothing. Go figure. Um... So yeah, I'm going to talk about each of these three, and I'll do it relatively quickly here. You'll find that they're fairly similar in content. Um, first thing I have to say is that Shout Factory, on all your DVDs, your little intro logo sequence thing is horrifying. Uh, it truly is. Yeah, the background is black and white static. Um, it has the flickering uh, effect of a camera, like an old-fashioned, uh, sorry, projector, not camera. Um, an old-fashioned projector. It has the sound effects of an old-fashioned projector, like the clicking. Um, and the actual Shop Factory logo comes in and it blurs in and out. Like, it, it, it goes in and out of focus. It's really horrifying. And it, it begins every one of these DVDs. Change it, please. That's stupid. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to mute my TV right before it comes on because I don't want to see that nonsense. Um, but yeah. So let's start off with Danny Phantom. Um, so the box art... It's nice. It's simple. You know, you know what you're getting here. It's got the character, the name, what it is. Fine. It says it on the spine as well. It's cool. The back has a little blurb of what the show is, along with some really random pictures um, of, like, Youngblood and Danny as friends when they were in the video game. Um, really random, but, you know, not bad. Not bad. Um, the inside is pretty nice, too. The inside picture here. Uh, it's got, like, a little panorama that you can see. Um, oops. But yeah, it's, it's covered by the discs. Um, you'll notice something is missing, though. And this is a super fun trend across all of these sets. There is no episode list. This is a major problem. If I want to watch, say, um, Doc Doctor's Disorders, if I want to watch that episode for Halloween, um, I have to go on Wikipedia, figure out where it is in the season, and then kind of guesstimate which disc it would be on. That's incredibly stupid. Um, it's just a piece of paper. That's all it takes. I know you're producing these as cheaply as possible, but that, that is really unforgivable. Um, like, you, you don't do that. You tell me what's on what. And also, there's this weird thing. Um, season 2... <clears throat> so, Season 1 is three discs, fine. Season 2 has Disc 1, which says Season 2 Part 1, and then... Disc 1 of Season 2 Part 2 and Disc uh, disc 2 of Season 2 Part 2. Um, and I think this was done because they originally sold these as separate DVDs before plopping them, just the actual DVDs from like their original Season 1, Season 2, Season 2.4 or whatever, plopping them into this set because they weren't selling. Um, that's a little weird. But, uh, yeah. Um, so... As far as the, the menus, um, it has a little animated intro, and it has pictures of Danny and his friends and stuff kind of sliding through. Nothing super produced, nothing super nice looking, um, but it gets the job done. It looks decent enough. Um, the music loops, which is a little bit annoying, but what are you going to do? It's the, it's the Danny Fated theme song, so it's not bad music. Um, there's also not many episodes per disc, which is kind of a pain. There's one disc that has, like, five episodes on it. Um, it's kind of a pain to have to keep switching them out, but again, they're they're doing this cheaply, so you can bet they're going with the discs that can hold, like, the least amount of footage. Um, in terms of bonus features, there are none. You get a play all button. That's it. That's, uh, that's really sad. Um, that's incredibly sad, actually. There's just not a single thing. Um... There's no setup either. There's no subtitles or, or alternate languages, anything like that. Um, you can play the episodes. That's it. Um, and speaking of the episodes, well, they're almost in in an order that makes sense. Um, from what I can tell, really the only two inconsistencies I see here are that um, they messed up Fenton Menace and Pirate Radio. Um 
Fenton Menace is before Pirate Radio on the disc. When Pirate Radio introduces Youngblood and Fenton Menace brings him back in explicitly the same, like, the, the ending of Pirate Radio factors into the beginning of Fenton Menace, um, that kind of stinks that they they just they could have just flipped them. Um, and then also Memory Blank is in the middle of Season 2, which doesn't make a lick of sense to me because that's, that's how he gets the logo. That's, like, kind of really important um, to the mythos of the show. Uh, so to put that randomly in the middle of Season 2 when it really should just be at the beginning is weird to me. But to the credit, to the credit, nothing else... No, like, all the other continuities seem to make sense in the order they presented it. Um, props to them for not being, like, actual Nickelodeon and airing, what is it, uh, Overgrowth or whatever that, that uh, special with the plant enemy. Um, Nickelodeon aired it before Danny got ice powers, and here it's actually in the correct order after Danny realizes he has ice powers. Um, so props to that. Um, and, I mean, in terms of the show, it's a great show. Uh, I do I do very much recommend this show. Um, and there's what is it, 52 episodes here, so it is a great show. Um, so, is it worth it? Well, I got this for I think 20-ish dollars, depending on whether or not you have like Amazon Prime. You you can get it between 20 and 30 bucks, um, depending on where you look. Um, and uh, comparatively, iTunes has them for 13 dollars a season. Um, would I recommend this? No, actually, I wouldn't. Um, because iTunes isn't very much more expensive, uh, you know, only by like a few dollars, depending on where, depending on how cheap you can get this. Um, and iTunes actually has the episode names. So yeah, this kind of looks nice on the shelf, I guess. And I'm glad I have the episodes, but would, would I have, would I have preferred to have an actual episode list? Um, yeah, yeah, that, that makes a huge difference. So no, I don't recommend this. Um... So let's move on to the Angry Beavers. Uh, it has a lot of the same stuff. The box art looks fine. Um, there is no episode list. Um, and even there's not even like a nice backing. You get like this weird wallpapery stuff on the one side, but the other side is just the back of this. Um, and uh, even more concerning than the no episode list, I mean, I guess, I guess on the same level is the fact that this doesn't even close. And I bought this at Walmart. Like, I didn't even... It's not like I ordered it from a sketchy place, like, used or anything like that. This came... In, it came in plastic, so I didn't know. But yeah, it doesn't close. So, that's great. No episode list. The case doesn't even close. If I'm, if I'm not careful, the discs are just going to fly out. Um, also, it has... The discs have Season 2... Uh, it says Seasons 1 and 2. Disc 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, it's leftover packaging... Uh, you know, printing from the individual seasons, but it's a little weird, um, and kind of also makes it a big pain in trying to look for episodes. Um, so yeah, it has, as far as the menu go, it does actually have, like, a little bit of an opening, um, like, it tries to do kind of what the theme song of the show does. Doesn't look particularly fantastic, but it's all right. Uh, music loops, which is a big pain, and again, it's, it's just the theme song. Um, you can select the 11 minute episodes separately, like you don't have to select them in 22 minute form, um, which is a thumbs up. Um, so that's good. It also has chapters, so you can like, if you play the first part, the first 11 minute, you can skip ahead to the second one, um, or you can skip past the theme song and, and that kind of stuff, so that's good. Uh, I'm kind of stretching for compliments, but there's good. Um, you can also skip the piracy message and the Shout Factory logo uh, on the first three discs, or on the first three seasons. There you go. There's a bonus. Um, the season four disc is a little bit different, but it's not too much better. It it, ha it has Norbert and Daggett, like, busting through the back of the screen. Just, the, just a picture of them um, busting through the screen. Um, and season one through three... Also has, it actually has a, a, a title menu that just literally says play all and episodes. Uh, season four is just like, now nah, forget that. We're just going to show you the episodes, which is smart to forgo that because there's just nothing else to select. Um, no bonus languages, nothing else. No bonus features as well. Um, again, uh, in terms of episodes, all the episodes are here. The only thing that's not here is the pilot, but that's like, I don't, I don't think that's ever been seen either. That's not publicly available, so... Would be nice to have been on here, but not really surprising. Um, they're also roughly in the order they are on Wikipedia, so you can kind of figure out where they are on the disc based on the Wikipedia list, um, which is such a pain to have to do, but it's an option. Um, do I recommend this one? 
Well, this, this stupid, this, and the fact that there's not a list would mean that ordinarily I wouldn't recommend it. Um, and in a lot of cases, I don't. But here's the thing. iTunes uh, doesn't have the full series. It has best of volumes. There's about 10 episodes missing from iTunes, including The Day the World Got Really Screwed Up, which is a fantastic episode. So would I recommend this? Um, you know, it's between 20 and 30 bucks, like Danny Phantom, depending on where you look. It does look nice on the shelf. Um, if you're a diehard Angry Beavers fan, yeah, get it. But if you're not, uh, don't. If you want to see some episodes of the Angry Beavers, you can just buy random episodes on iTunes. Um, it kind of stinks that iTunes doesn't have all of them, but unless unless you're a diehard fan, I mean, this is this is pretty. Look, look how sloppy this is. Stupid. Um, unless you're a diehard fan, I I, I can't recommend this uh, either. So yeah. <sighs> Let's move on to Rocco's Modern Life. Um, now. This one is a little bit different from the other two in that this one did have involvement with at least Joe Murray. Um, the set that I got, and I don't know if it's still being sold anymore, I don't think it is, came with this and it came with a poster. Uh, and that poster is actually in the background of some of my old videos. It's at my parents' place right now. I, I can't show you, but um, it's, a nice, it's a nice poster. Uh, it's a nice cardboard one. And even on, on the inside of this has the same, this is the poster. Um, but uh, obviously the poster I got was like big and blown up, um, but it's the same art. Um, the artwork also is, this is Joe Murray. He, he drew all this, um, as opposed to just the other two that are just kind of stock pictures, uh, from the show, stock promotional art. Um, there is new art assets here and then on the menus. Um, again, there is no episode list. But, but, I will say, each of the seasons, it's just season one, disc one, season two, disc two, you know, disc one and two. Each, each season has one and two discs. That's it. There's nothing complicated or weird about that. Um, <clears throat> the menus are simple. Uh, like I said, they include a little bit of original art, but nothing crazy. Um, I think it works relatively. You can select each 11-minute episode. Again, another just nice little touch that not D DVDs don't always do. Um... Does it have bonus features? Well, judging by the other two, you should be pretty obvious that I'm going to say, actually, this one does have bonus features. Um, it does. They're not great bonus features, but they exist on here. Um, so we, you do have the original pilot, um, which was adapted into an episode, but you can see the original version where Rocco's colored yellow and the animation's a little rougher. Um... In addition to that, there's a series of short videos where Joe Murray talks about each character while drawing them. Um, it's a little dull, you know, he doesn't, he's not constantly talking, um, and it's kind of simple, like he filmed it himself, there's no one else involved, just him moving the camera, and uh, the camera's like on him drawing on the Wacom tablet, and uh, that kind of stuff. And the, the clips of Rockwell's Modern Life used in there look as if they were actually filmed off of a television with a camera, a little bit low quality. Um, but what Joe has to say is actually kind of interesting, and the drawing, he, watching him draw the characters is, is entertaining. Not, not, like, great, I wouldn't go back and watch it again, um, but, you know, he has a few interesting things to say here and there, and they're short. Um, so there's the pilot, there's that, then there's something that's called a commentary on, on one of the season three discs. It's not a commentary. Um, what it is, is a 30 minute kind of... Just, just Joe Murray talking about his favorite episodes, I believe all from season three, um, and sharing some background production stories, like how really, really big man's uh, nipples didn't get past Nick's censors until they, he just kept bugging them and bugging them and bugging them until they eventually approved it. Um, there are some interesting stories there, but like with the um, the character art, him, him doing the character art little things, uh, it's not the most professional of things. It's, you know, a little bit low quality in terms of how it was shot, in terms of audio quality. Uh, there's some, like, weird filters over parts of it. It looks like the editor was having a little bit too much fun. Might have just been Joe himself. I don't know. Um, but there is there is some insight in there. Um, and it, it is cool to say. I'm glad it's there. Um, and then the last thing is that in 2012, uh, in California, Joe and the voice actors for the show got together for a live reading of Act 1 of Wacky Deli. Um, they got together and did that, and it's filmed and on there. And it's 50 minutes long, and 
um, they they do a live read of the script. Um, and there's some little funny moments with, where an actor flubs their lines, or they add a little improv or something. And they also talk a little bit about the show. I think it's either Q and A or, or they answer some questions. Um, and that's really cool. It's really cool to see those voice actors do those voices live. Um, that's really interesting. That's that's definitely the most interesting thing on the entire um, the entire set. So would I recommend this? Yeah, I would recommend this. It's, it's again, you can get it between twenty and thirty dollars. Um, I don't think it still comes with the poster, but I, I mean, the poster definitely added, added something. Um, the episodes are here and there's some bonus features. Um, and also I guess, um, I guess I should add, I almost forgot the episodes are censored and not in a big way. There was never an episode where I looked at it and I'm like, Hmm, this is like four minutes shorter than an episode should be. I wonder what happened. Um, and not in the way that any episodes are cut. You know, Leapfrog did make it in here. But, uh, you know, more infamous scenes like the no-tell motel, gone. Um, so I'm sorry if you wanted to see that. Um, unfortunately, it's not here. You don't really miss much when you're watching the episodes themselves, but it would have been cool to see them uncut, quote-unquote. Um, but, yeah, I would recommend this, this one. Um, not too expensive. Outside of the issue of uh, not having episode lists... Um, everything else is here as it should be. These are a really fantastic bunch of, you know, 52 episodes or whatever. Um, th this is a great show and I highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, I would recommend this one. Don't rec recommend the other two. Uh, it really stinks. That is the big drawback with these Shout Factory DVDs that they do not have the, the episode names inside. I can forgive the lack of bonus features if, you know, it's too much work to get the people involved with the show, you know, someone involved with the show to, to hand over some footage. I understand that. You know, I understand that the packaging is a little, you know, cheap. I understand that the menus aren't the best produced. I can I can understand all that stuff, but you have to have the episode names, what disc is on what, that, that it, or what episode is on what disc. That is, that is very, very insulting to not have that. Um, and I get... I get that something like Rocco's Modern Life and Angry Beavers are, you know, shows where you can kind of just kind of watch whatever episodes. Um, but whenever you want to seek out a specific episode, like a Christmas episode or something like that, major pain. And with Danny Phantom's case, um, it's a pain having to figure out which disc, like, memory blank is on because that one is out of order where it should be. Um, so, yeah, so there you have it. Uh, Shout Factory, please, please, please include what episode is on what disc. That's it. You know, continue doing what you're doing. I appreciate how cheap these are, and I appreciate that they are available in some form outside of, like, just volumes on iTunes. But please, you have to at least put that much in. So, with that, Pie Guy Rules.